debate continues. Republican Senator Tom Cotton will jump into that debate with us in just a moment. But first, Susan Lee from the Fox Business Network joins us live on set here. So, Susan, what are we what are we hearing as we close out this week? It has yep. been a wild one for Wall Street. I love talking to a former trader because I feel like you can understand what I'm going to say because it might be a little bit more sure. complicated for the average folks out there. So, you know, Friday afternoons are a bit tricky since we head into a weekend, especially the last Friday of a month. And this is when we have a lot of these options trades, a language that we didn't know heading into this week, at least for the broader audience. But now it's in everyday language with this GameStop phenomenon. And, you know, we're looking at the most volume ever traded on Wall Street this week, wow. Sandra. So we're talking about 59 million options contracts, 23 billion shares exchanging hands on Wednesday. And with that type of activity, that has a lot of the brokerage firms concerned over collateral. How much money do they have in the bank in order to clear these trades? And that's what happened with Robin Hood yesterday that caused all that controversy and bipartisan support in Washington, D.C. It is really remarkable to watch. And there's so many big names that are involved here that make this really a household conversation. Yeah. Everyone's sort of trying to wrap their arms around this story and figure out what it means to them. Because as investors, uh, we try to put our money into the stock market. Many of us want to yeah. take advantage of the record run that we've seen in yeah. the stock market lately. This is different. These were day traders. These were people who wanted to get their money in on some of these names that they saw hedge funds running down to very low prices. Mm -hmm. And they wanted to get in together. They were talking on Reddit to push the price of many of these stocks up. They were very effective with case in point games. That's right. Social media now is a different play in yeah. 2021. And I love this generational shift as well in the markets. These are young, young traders. Now mm -hmm. we haven't seen this type of activity in the youthful investment audience in 20 years going back to the dot-com bubble, right? So I like that generational shift. Now, when it comes to education, I'm a little bit concerned because are you going to make money if you buy in at $500 on GameStop in a company that's really on its last legs, a bricks and mortar company that really is getting hurt mm -hmm. in this online environment? I think that's the main concern right now on Wall Street and what this means for this volume of trading and how you settle these trades and whether or not this goes wider than just the average Joe, right? Just not you, me trading stock, but what is this mean for the entire financial system. It really is a fascinating story. We're going to continue to follow it. Great to see you. Great to see you. Thanks too. for joining us. All right, John.